In today's class, you will learn about the model concept in Python. Then why we use the model concept in Python, I will tell you. If the program is consist of thousand lines of the code, the user difficult to identify the identify the bug in the program. Okay, then then model the program or project is divided into sub modules. Then the user can easily identify the bug in the program. Simply the model is nothing but a Python file. The file is consist of a function or a class or a variable. Then how do you define the model? Then how do we access the model? You learn in today's class. There are two types of the models are there. One is called built-in model. Other one is called the user-defined model. The built-in model means we don't write any code to the Python file. The ready-made code is available in the model. Then we can import it. For example, math is a built-in model. Then sys is the built-in model. Okay, just whenever it is required, just we can import it. Then at the end of the class, I will show you how we can import the built-in models. Then I'm going to create then user-defined model. Before going to write the program, you should know the what are the advantages of the models in a Python. Then what is called reusability. What is the reason means? Once the model has been created, whenever it is required, we can use it. We don't write the uh, duplicate code over there because once the program has been written or model has been written when it is required we can import the model any number of times we can import the model that is called as the reusability then whenever the using the models the length of the code will be decreased because the model is nothing but a small portion of the program that's why automatically the length of the code will be decreased when you're using the models then readability because the length of the code will be decreased the third person can easily understand whatever the code you written inside the module that is called as the readability will be increased the third person can easily understand the code inside the module or in the module okay these are the advantages of the model then what is the syntax to create the model model is nothing but what a file it consists of a function a class or a variable then I will write the small program then how do you create the model then I would like to create the model then I would like to create the function the definition then add I would like to add two variables two parameters I'm going to take then sorry to say return what is called a place x place y then like that i would like to add another function also then sub then x comma y then return what is called here i forgot it it is also not required actually for understanding purpose i am using over there then like that you can also create the multiplication mul this is a function name then x comma y is the parameters of this function and then return what is called x multiplied with y because here the three functions as added then it can be saved as the arithmetic dot py okay the file name is called as the model okay this is what what is the code i written inside the model then add function has been written the sub function has been written then multiplication function has been written okay once the model has been created then how do we import the model okay how do we import the model then i will write here you know that the add function return the x plus y the sub function will return the x minus y the multiplication function return the x multiplied with y okay once you create the model then how do you import these model in in another file then control yeah then i will write it down it can be saved as uh, for example demo demo.py then save then import how do we import the syntax is that the import 
the module one comma module two up to module eight. Okay, the syntax is that once the module has been created, what is the syntax to import the module? The import module one comma module two comma up to module eight. You can able to import n number of modules by using the import keyword. The import is nothing but a keyword. Then we are created the module automatic. How do we import it here? Then import. Then what is called automatic? Automatic is the module name. Then once we import it, then we can call the three functions. Then how do we call those functions in the module automatic? Uh, one is called save it. The module name dot function name. What is the module name? Yeah, this is the module name dot function name is the syntax. Then we call the add suppose ten comma twenty because it consists of two arguments which must provide the two. Then here. Because you should write this statement inside the printer because we are using the return statement, the print addition equal comma arithmetic dot add. Then like that uh, we can call then other two functions because here subtraction comment. Is called subtraction. The string constant is subtraction. Here we can use sub. Then multiplication. See here, because this is called as what is called model. Inside the model, I created the three functions: add function, sub function, multiplication function. But how do you import these function in another file? Then see here. Then how do you import that module? Then import the module name. Okay, the import module name. But how do you call those functions inside the arithmetic model with help of the module name? Arithmetic is the module name. Dot the function name is add ten comma twenty. The two arguments has been provided over there. Subtraction is also we called the two arguments we provided the multiplication. Then yes, then we can run this application. Then what is the output we got? You see here we got the output. The addition equal to thirty. The subtraction equal to minus ten. The multiplication equal to thirty. We got the output. Okay, uh, this is a simple example of how the model has been created. How the model should be imported. Isn't it? Then the another syntax. Then how do you rename the model? Rename the model. We can use the as keyword. Okay. The model can be renamed as a. Okay. The arithmetic is a model. It can be re renamed as a. Okay. How you rename the model using the as keyword? This is syntax. The import the model name as new name. Because then it, instead of arithmetic, you would like to use a, because arithmetic model can be renamed as a model. That's why instead of writing the arithmetic, you would like to write a only. Okay. So this is the another syntax. Okay. Then save it. Then we can run this application. What is the output? We will get it. Yeah, we got the output. There is no problem. The addition, the subtraction. The multiplication answer we got it. Okay, this is the another example of the models in Python. Then I move on to the next one. There is a from and import statement. Okay, then here from import statement. Here from import statement because the model is consist of. Uh, Three functions. Okay, if you like to import only specific function in the model, then you like to use this keyword from import because what is the syntax? From is the model. From model, then import a specific 
a specific uh, function or a specific class or else a specific variable okay this is a syntax for the from import statement from the module from this module we can able to import the specific function or specific class or else a specific variable you can mention over here we are see here then here in this model there are three functions are there i would like to use only one addition and subtraction i don't want access the multiplication function what you have to do is here then see then what is the code i am going to write then from what is the model name will be given arithmetic is the model name then from import what are the specific function we want to import and then input add comma what is called sub here from the model name is arithmetic we would like to import or access add function and sub function i don't want access the multiplication function then what is the code you should write at this time this statement what is called multiplication statement is not required okay here also i forgot okay instead of add you should use the mul okay anyway then here i see i would like to remove this statement because i accessing only add and sub at this time whenever you written this syntax at the time the module name is not required we are importing the specific function in the module and then the module name is not required to access in the functions okay at that time we remove the module name over here please observe it very carefully uh, then i compile it whether it shows an error or not we will see here good we got the answer the addition should be 30 the subtraction should be minus it whenever you access in the specific function from the model we don't call the function with help of the model directly you can write the function name followed by the arguments that is the advantage to access the specific uh, specific function from the model got it okay this is the another syntax then this is called how the user defined model has been created how we can import the user defined model then in case of built in model uh, for example uh, what is called yeah we remove this statement here yeah the import for example if you want a star means if, for example you would like to use the star over here then import star means we can able to access all the functions inside the arithmetic model okay if you specify the particular thing we can able to access only particular function if you are putting the star over there then you can able to access all the classes and functions are variable from arithmetic module okay yeah there is a thing you should remember then how do you import the pre uh, built in module then i uh, would like to import what is called model name math okay uh, then uh, a square root because a square shortcut i would like to write a square root of suppose 25 okay And then there are n number of uh, functions are there inside the math model math is a predefined model is available we don't write any code for the math model then here square root of then math dot square is q or t then square root of then what is called uh, 25 then i would like to use uh, another uh, function is there factorial of five then here what you have to do is here the math dot factorial factorial of what is called then five here because the math is a built in model then there are two functions are available. there are many functions sine function cos function there are many function has been available in the math model then i would like to invoke only square root and factorial then how do you call it with the help of the math dot square root of math dot factorial then what is the output we got we will get we will see then save it so i to say 
then run yeah the square root of 25 what is the answer we got 5 the factorial of 5 what to define into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 what is the answer we will get that is a 120 okay we got the answer without writing any code over there the three different model is available in the math then we can access those functions inside the what is called a math model then another way we can write the same thing but from uh, from math input uh, then square root uh, square root comma a factorial okay these two functions has been imported from the math model then at that time what you have to do uh, this math model is not required and uh, then just you call the you can write the function name only okay then we, we don't write the math dot square root then already we studied in the previous example then you can compile it yeah the square root of 25 we got the 5 is the answer the factor of 5 is the 120 okay and then if any doubt regarding this uh, module you can con you can contact me at any time uh, through comment box or else whatsapp thank you thank you mandal for watching my videos